Usain Bolt use. Usain Bolt use, everyone. This is what Usain Bolt uses. This is what he uses to win the Olympics. We know why he's so fast. We know why. We know why. What is going on everybody? Brokix here and today we are back with another video. Now today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved. Now my first video on Ark, but I've been playing a lot of Ark. I'm playing with some mods on a server that's like 20 times everything, so it's like really easy to get some stuff. Uh, our base is doing, it's alright, we had to move, but uh, look at this. A cyan, just pooped, but a cyan Bronto. Let's get a better look at this. Look at that. Look at that beauty. That is amazing. So anyway, what we got to do today is we have to actually get some meat going. Because we have no food except for berries. And these guys have no food on them. So they're going to need some food pretty quickly. So our goal today is to get some meat. So we're going to go out here on Diego. And we're gonna go find some stuff to kill. Oh, if I can get out of here. Let's go and open it up without me being on it. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on, open it. There you go. Get some levels in Diego, too. Oh, I see a Rex over there. We don't wanna get near that Rex. I don't know what it's doing this far over here, but that is definitely a rex that's eating something it's eating a fionia we don't want to get near that so what we're gonna go do is we're going over here let's find oh there we go it's a stego let's go kill a stego and we can cook its meat and get some hide because we're running low on hide too here we go come here you little oh insta kill look at all of that meat now we need to get keep getting some more meat. All right, so that's one stego. We got 300 meat. Oh, here we go. Here's a is that a parasaur that I just saw over here? It's another stego. That's good enough for me. Just go on the saber tooth, kill this stego, one hit. Level 130 stego. Okay. Here we go, stego. You're dead. Oh, I killed two things. Oh, crap, they're trilobites. Not no, they're these things. Oh, look at all that chitin. There we go. That's how you do it, boys. Now that's successful. Now as we're running back here, you want to talk about one thing. Um, you're going to see a different type of furnace, and that furnace is called uh, the electrical furnace, and it's powered through a generator. And what that electrical furnace does is you put in wood and it makes coke and for every one wood you put in you get uh, a coke and what you use coke is you use coke to make hot metal ingots and what those metal ingots do is it's four hot metal ingots will turn into four metal ingots but in order to make metal ingots you need six metal but that may see a lot of metal, but you are getting back a lot more than in a regular uh, refining forage. So you're getting back two thirds of everything you put in, except for like refining forage, you only get half. So you put in like 400 metal in a regular refining forage, you'll get back 200 metal ingots. If you put in 400 metal in a electrical furnace, you'll get a, what's it called? Uh, I think you'll get by like 300 or something like that. You'll get a lot more. That Rex is... Oh, don't take that Fioma over here. Oh, now this server is kind of laggy, but that's all right. We got our cooked meat. We got our hide, and we got some chitin or chitin. I like to call it chitin. So let's get that. We got the prime meat. Let's get this. We got to make this guy have more melee damage. More is better. So we're getting up here. Let's take this hide out. We'll also take the chitin out. So, we'll get the chitin, and then after we get the chitin, 
we'll get some more hide. Oh, there's a keratin. Get some more hide, and then we're going to get some raw meat. Let's hit three of these bad boys. Here we go. We need to put some meat into slacker pluff, too. Which is what we're probably going to do after we cook this meat. So, yeah. Anyway, I went on a metal run yesterday, and it's... I got about 750 metal out of that entirely. And as you will see here, I will go up here in the admin only room. And, uh, you know, you'll see how much I got back. So we'll go in here, close this door. Now, this is modded, so we got an armor, armor storage bins and a weapon storage bin. So, where we go? Electronics, pearls, cementing paste, and metal. Now look at this metal. We only had this much to start off with. After that one run, we got this, this, and this. We got 600 metal. That's a lot of metal, if you guys don't know. But now, what we need is we need cementing paste. So we also need some stone, looks like. Rip. Oh, here's some stone. Here we go. Put some chitin and keratin in there. We need some more stone like badly because we can only make five Let's see is there anything in this one nope all right let's get some wood we need some wood wood in there yes when light that fire then we can light this fire with some meat and oh. so we can like this one. Oh, but we need wood all right this is what we'll do simple put this in there boom now, put this in there. Right? Yeah. That right there. Oh, except the server is kind of laggy right now. So, uh, yeah. Let's wait till it stops lagging so we can put it in there. Or whatever in this nonsense. If the server could stop lagging. Can I just light the fire? No, yeah, see? It's not that the server's lagging. Just something's going on. Can't put the charcoal in there. Oh, you can't put charcoal in a campfire. No wonder. Uh, we'll just put in the coke. Yep. Put it in here. Alright, so I was, I was saying earlier, mods, as you can see, we have two fabricators. And, uh, that's a pterodon. I don't know if that's someone or if that's just a pterodon. Alright, whatever. But we have one fabricator here and a super fabricator, which makes the inject rifles and reinforced, like, stairs. It makes actual stairs. Then it makes reinforced wood stuff. That's good. It also makes glass. And then it makes electrical furnaces. Electrical furnaces. Also makes an electrical stove. And a portable electrical generator. Converts oil and electricity. But it does something different. So, that's that. Ooh, we got some stone in here. Let's put the stone out here. Let's make some. So what do we have? Do we put it in here? No, we put it in this one. We gotta make some more. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get that out of here. Put that in there. We got 16. We need some more stone. Oh, but bing, but boom. All right, so I need some water. What we're doing is we need to di distribute the meat between our birds. Oh, we have keratin in there. Good to know. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Man, my buddy Zeke. He's in the tribe with me. He just makes these most, like, awesome, unraidable buildings. This one, I feel like it is raidable, but it's not terrible. It's just that we had to move, and it was just, like, quick, so we just built, put this together. Looks really good, though. And there's Poncho. How you doing, Poncho? So, let's see here. You have a lot of meat on you, and you have prime. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this meat off of you and distribute it between our meat eaters so boom boom 
boom, and boom. So, I'm going to take all of that and put this on Slagger Ploof. He's got no food. So, boom. Just distribute this evenly. This is right here, boys. This is how you get meat. You get 300 and something meat with kitten, chitten. That's how you do it right there. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how Terry and them are doing. Let's give these guys, like, two. Let's give them three stacks each. So, that's nine. We need nine stacks of cooked meat. Uh, raw meat. My bad. So, we have six, seven, nine, three. Three, three. Oh, okay. There we go. These guys are going to be set. Oh, it was raining out there, so we didn't really need water, which we were needing. Let's get out here. Now, what I also want to do today is not only do I want to make some cooked meat uh, and give our birds and all of that food, we need to get some wood. And after we get wood, I'll show you guys how exactly the electrical refining forge looks like. Alright, so let's, uh, Terry, what do you got in you? You've got, let's just give you, here we go, one, two, we'll give you two stacks. Oh, you've got none, so we'll give you three, two, three, there you go. And birdie, what do you have? You have none, so we'll give you, boom, boom. Actually, we need birdie to get another stack. All right, so plan for today, get metal. We need metal, and we also need cementing paste, but cementing paste will probably be in another video when we do a chitin run. And excuse me for saying chitin, I know it's called chitin, but chitin sounds a lot better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna BRBs. I'm gonna get some cooked meat, and I'm gonna meet you guys at the mountain with metal. So uh, BRBs, folks. And we are back, everyone. Now, after flying around, I finally found a spot that's not very hostile, and it's got a lot of metal on it. However, I say it's not very hostile, but there is a guy that lives right over this like hill here, so I gotta be careful. So it's kind of like, I gotta get in and get out. I don't even know if he's on right now, but I don't want to stay here long enough to find out. So, let's just grab this metal, because he's hogging it. Let's grab the metal and get out. I probably should have gotten some water while I was here, but, you know, can't do everything right. Alright, good. Already at 314 metal. Let's just get it from different rocks, so we don't, like, blow one up. Probably blow this one up, though. Alright. Uh, just don't be online. That's all I'm asking. Oh, there goes a rock. Hopefully he doesn't see that. Here's another 300 metal. This guy's a good weight bird. I probably should, I probably want to put in <clears throat> some more movement speed and more weight into him. But I haven't decided yet. He probably needs about 1,500 weight so we can carry back a lot of metal. Because we can carry about 500 weight on us, but that's just not enough. We need a bird. We need a bird. And we also need a Danklia and an Armadillo. We need those things. So now he's got 800. All right, 900 and si Okay, he could probably take this off. Let's get all this rid of this stone. 59, he's got 900 weight. Uh, we're not going to be able to carry that on us. Let's see if he can fly. Nope, he's encumbered. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop that now we are we shouldn't be encumbered oh my gosh we are encumbered with what though he's got 900 health 900 weight let's let's just drop this let's do that boom <clears throat> there we go he's not encumbered anymore so uh we're taking quite a slow flyback so uh what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this right here and we're gonna be our bees I'll let you guys know when we're back I'll talk to you guys in a couple seconds and we're back we are back everyone successful metal run we got out alive no one followed us 
I think that was a pretty good run. We got two. Okay, let's see here. Let's go. Two, four, six, seven hundred and seventy-two metal. That, my friends, is what we call a successful metal run. Easily successful. That's just how you do it, boys. You go out. I hope I open the trap door instead. You go out. You gotta close this. Whoops. You go out. Go to a mountain. You have a weight. You got a weight bird. We could probably get some more weight in that bird, though. But I uh, yeah. We just look at that. Okay, so here we go. Here's how you start this thing up. This has to be powered by a generator. And look at this. It's coke. It's just coke. It's coke. By burning wood, yo. You can also make glass panes in here and glass bottles. But we want that metal ingot. So look at that. You're going to get four metal ingots for every six metal. That is a good trade-off. So, let's go ahead and deposit all of our metal in here, and we can make that. We can make that right there. Already made. Weight 4.0. I don't know why, because there's four ingots in it. And we also have a Coke thing over here just filled with Coke and some charcoal. I don't know why the charcoal's in there, but you know, it's in there. And we're not going to complain about it. We're going to make a chest for charcoal. I mean, odds are, Zeke already made a chest for charcoal. I just don't know where it is. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put the metal in our inventory. We are then going to put the metal in the electrical furnace. We're going to power up that bad boy. And we're going to watch this thing make metal. And uh, it it makes a lot of metal, but it makes it at a slower pace. So, I mean, it makes like 700 metal. It's going to take a while. So, yeah. So, look at that. All of that coke. All of this metal. This is going to be turned into metal ingots. And so, what we got to do is what we have to do. We gotta go down here. We got to turn on the Jenny. After we turn the Jenny on, we can watch this thing completely just make metal. It's absolutely insane. Now, I'm gonna go up there and see, watch you guys just show you how insane this is. Because you're giving back two thirds rather than half. All right. So it's already making, it's already powered. Okay, we're making one hot metal ingot. All right, it's pretty good. That's a hot metal ingot, all right, it's pretty hot. I don't say it's a cold or else it would be a cold metal ingot. So, let's see if it'll do it. Look at that, four hot metal ingots, all right? Now watch this, this is gonna turn into three metal ingots, all right, that's insane. But watch this, it's, boom, four metal ingots. And we're still making stuff. We are still going, fellas. This, it's insane. Like, you're getting four metal ingots faster than a refining forge. And you're getting more. And all it takes is Coke. Just Coke. That's all it takes. It's Coke. The wonderful Coke. And, and it takes a mod, so, you know. That's good, too. But, uh, let me just tell you about this. I already told you about the super fabricator. But the alchemy kit, look at this. It looks like a mortar pestle, but this is insane. This is absolutely insane. You've got all of your just potions in here, and you've got s compounds and this stuff, and paste, and egg paste, and berry paste, and darts, and like, why? I, I don't understand this stuff. I need someone to help me with this. This is, this is insane. I don't understand. This is just, is this, did I say, oh my god. Usain Bolt juice. Usain Bolt juice, everyone. This is what Usain Bolt uses. This is what he uses to win the Olympics. We know why he's so fast. We know why. We know why. All right. So, anyways, we're making the medal. Now, uh, as we and come to a close to the video, I want to show you guys what exactly we're going to be doing on the next episode. I feel like this is what we're going to be doing on the next episode. What I want to do is I want to go on a chit and run. Then I also want to close off this right here so they just can't blow up the pillars underneath it. So I want to close that off because it's like that on the other side too as you can see right there. But Zeke is actually working on a fence. Oop, lag right there. So we need a lot of stone to actually build this fence. Look at this. This fence goes on for a long, long time. And, uh, 
That's going to be hard to actually fence off. So we're going to need the supplies. I'll probably do that off camera as we lag. So, uh, there we go. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is, uh, you know, Season 1, Ark Survival Evolved. Season 1, Episode 1. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And this is Bro Kicks signing out. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.